You know, this was actually an accidental pose. I just hit the analog stick when I was picking the controller up. And then I hit record and I realized, you know what? I like it. I need some sort of dramatic voiceover. One man stands alone. And that's why he's one man. Anyway, I can't do the uh, movie voice. But hey, everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello. And welcome back to Blue Plays Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. Things are going shockingly well. Well, we're about to see how well they've been going here in just a moment. But before we do a little bit of housekeeping and running around before we go on our merry little adventure, let's go ahead and take a look at the stats. There we go. Believe it or not, level one. Still level one. There are my stats. See if you can memorize them. Six. That's all you gotta remember. I actually really like the way that this bonfire looks. This is gonna be full of really nice accidental shots today, I think. As for the gear that I'm gonna be using today, I have, at long last, the Pyromancy Flame. We'll be talking about that here momentarily. My Lightning Hand Axe upgrade to plus seven for rings. Chloranthi plus one, of course. Southern Ritual Band plus two. Thank you, New Game Plus, Scorpionus Nachka. The Ring of Blades and the Ring of Seal Protection plus one. The Crimson Parma and my Light Crossbow plus six for armor. I don't have headgear yet. That is coming very soon. Wanderer Code, Brigand Gauntlets, and the Hollow Infantry Boots. Now, I said we have some housekeeping to do before we go off on our adventure. I don't believe I have any shards, and I think I've burned... Actually, have I burned the Sublime Bone Dust from last time? E yes. Yes. Okay. It is not there. I've been asked, how about the uh, death counter? Since I don't have to keep track in Dark Souls 2, here it is. 44. 44 deaths so far, and we haven't even begun taking down any of the great ones. I have a lot of souls to spend. I have a whole lot of souls to spend, and uh, well, a little bit to spend it on. Nothing with Chloane yet. Melentia will probably be my final choice, but one of our newest residents to Majula, actually our only new resident to Majula, we have Laddersmith Gilligan. And uh, I'm just going to pay for all of his ladders real quick. Wait. You found your way out, too. <laughs> the name's Gilligan. Don't make me say it twice. <laughs> All right. What do you want? I have everything you need. <laughs> All right. First, let's, of course, learn his gesture, prostration. As for purchase... Ooh, the reinforced club. Well, it's 16 strength. The whip, I'm going to pick this up, and I'll tell you why. Well, I'll tell you right now. I was actually going to hold off on it. And the reason is, we're going into a place today that has a lot of statues that spit poison. The best way to deal with those is to break them from a distance. Hear that song from... Uh, anyway, you can throw firebombs. You can, you can punch them. You can hit them with a melee weapon. You can shoot them with heavy arrows. Or you can use the whip which is nice because it has a little bit of an area of effect sort of at the end of it. And I, even though I don't have the stats, they'll still break. So I'm going to be using that. Uh, thief, I do like the thief set. You know what? We got the money. Let's buy it all. I actually really like those gloves. And we got lacerated knives, which could be good. Aromatic ooze, which is nice. Bleeding serum. And the ladder miniature. An ornament depicting a ladder. This ornament does not seem to have any particular function. It should not be worth much, but sold at an exorbitant price. Obviously, we're going to be buying that. Do we want to buy some of these? Yeah, I'm just going to buy... 20? 10? And we'll do 20. Uh, let's buy just a few of these. I think I do have... We'll buy five. We'll buy five of each of these. We've got the money to spend. But now, uh, before we set up a ladder, let's talk to him a little bit. Oh. I should have listened to the warnings. This place is flippin' mental. Huh? No, I wasn't born here. I'm, I'm from a wee bit. I'm from a wee bit out west. That's all. I've seen some rough times. I think I'll settle down for a while. You wouldn't believe the shenanigans that happen in my business. I thought at, at least here in the middle of nowhere. I could stay clear of, you know, my old pals. Oh, don't ask me what happened. 
Have you no discretion, me old chum? That gaping hole? Well, search me. It's where the people around here toss all their rubbish. Corpses, or you know what. Or whatever they'd rather be rid of. Oh, and, and those human statues? Who are they supposed to be? Anybody, I suppose. Probably just some old pagan costume. What's it like at the bottom of the hole? I mean, why in the hell would I know? <laughs> he has massive hands. Absolutely gigantic. Oh, yeah. Somebody told me that the grave of, of a saint lies below here. N not built by the king, no, no. It did back to that time long before him. The tomb connects to that hole. And there's... There's something about some... Some rat king down there. Hell, <laughs> if the old rat is as rich as they say, maybe I should go and pay him a visit. So I could be wrong, and, and this, this is going to be fairly subjective. It seems to me that the NPCs in Dark Souls 2 have, a, first off, a lot of useful information to offer you, which isn't necessarily unlike other games from, from software. Usually you can get hints on where to go and what to do just by talking to people, but it's really starting to feel like the dialogue in Dark Souls 2 is a lot more natural and organic than in their other games, meaning when you talk to someone, they're not just giving you random bits of t you know advice and, and adventuring tips that is something completely unrelated. It actually has to do with them and either their profession or their interests, their hobbies. Uh, talking to Laddersmith Gilligan, sitting next to this giant hole in Majuli, you learn all sorts of things that are down there and how to prepare. And it just it feels feels natural. That's that's probably the best word that I can offer. Uh should have listened okay to. looks like we've gotten his dialogue exhausted so let's set you up some ladders that awful hole. you must have lost your marbles <laughs> fine sure, fine i'm happy to be of service you need a ladder then sure enough but you'll uh, you'll have to show some generosity all right so we're gonna do each of them we'll start cheap and then we'll work our way up you just don't get it, do ya? Fine then. Now it's my turn. This ladder's not for sale. The, the only things I sell are miniatures. I mean, if that tickles your fancy, you can buy as many as you like. <laughs> Wait, how can I buy as many as I'd like when you only had one for sale and it's gone? Well, that's fine. A very just you. All right, we're just gonna skip these cutscenes. Hey, don't. And last one. Well. Well, really, a very generous offer indeed, especially from you. I get such a warm feeling inside when I get the chance to help others. <laughs> hey. Here you are, my friend. You can have these, eh? It's a little bonus, you know, for your big purchase. Melu Scimitar. I wonder if Melu, I'll have to read the description, if that's the land that he oh, hails come from. come on. Don't look so glum. I'm trying to be nice here. You're hopeless, I tell you. Cheers for that. <laughs> All right. So let's take a quick look at that scimitar. Just curious here. Very, very ornamental. I love it. Scimitar of Laddersmith Gillian. Nothing notable about this weapon except perhaps the luxurious jewels embedded in the hilt. 
If your aim is to appear dazzling on the battlefield, this might just do the trick. I love it. I love it. So yes, we now have three ladders. You can see one goes way, way down to that bottommost platform. This short one doesn't even get you down to this first one, just drops you off. And then you have this one also going um, kind of equally far down. Right, the next thing we're going to do, and I'll probably be popping some souls now that I think about it, we are going to be going to Rosabeth. Rosabeth is the petrified woman that we unpetrified using a fragrant branch of yore. She's now unpetrified, but she hasn't moved back to Majula because I haven't given her any armor. Once you give her at least one piece of armor, she'll move back there. And I might do that just to get her to move. I've gotten some really good suggestions in the comments. I have a few ideas in mind, but unfortunately, I don't have any of the ones that I'm leaning towards. So tell you what, let me let me just pick out a quick a quick outfit for her. And I think I can drop them all. Uh, let's do. Hmm. You know, I like the I like the hood. We'll leave that. That's for the chest piece leather armor. It looks kind of nice. How about the black leather armor? That's a good set. Now I'm not gonna get these back, so I should be a little bit particular. Hard leather armor, maybe. Ooh, or the lion mage robe. Do the black hollow mage robe. I and again, I, I know I'm not getting these back. That's okay. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it at that. I don't necessarily need to give her the full set. I'm going to quit out. You didn't take them. I thought I was supposed to. Do I have to put them right in front of her, maybe? Uh, just put it here. Uh. Oh. Be safe. Goodness gracious. She says to put it there. What she means is, you know, actually use the option in my, uh. uh just put it here. In my menu here. So we're going to do Desert Sorcerer Hood. As well as the Black Hollow Mage Robe. We're gonna do, uh, you know, we'll do the leather gloves. They look kind of nice. Now let's see what else that she sells. So I don't need any of the quartz rings, at least not right now. It does sell three of the fire seeds, which I do want to purchase. I also want to get all of her pyromancy. So we're going to do fireball, fire orb, combustion, absolutely. Poison mist for sure. And, you know, might as well. Let's grab them all. Grab flash sweat and iron flesh. Now I'm going Thank to so leave for just a moment. I'm not sure where I might find the Lord. But perhaps Majula is my best chance. And unfortunately she's not going to find her Lord because that is Carillion of the Fold who won't speak to me unless I have a natural intelligence of 8. Meaning gear does not count. Now before she runs off, since we're here, I'm going to pop a couple more. I'll probably use, nope, not leave, but use all of these. That should be plenty because I want to buy all of our fire seeds. I hope we can meet. There we go. That's 24,000. And I'm going to reinforce. Let's see. So I have a total of five. I can do one, two, three, four, and five. Beautiful. Excellent job there. I'm rather unskilled, my lord, but. Okay, we have already heard about all that. Be safe. He's gonna go back to Majulet now. Benny, do you have anything to say about Rosabeth being uh, up and about now? What? Clearing the way was you doing, was it? <laughs> Didn't think you had it in you, pal. No, no, no. That's not like it sounds, you know. It was a pleasant surprise, that's all. Name's Ben Hart. Thanks to you. I can resume my journey. If we share the same path, I'm sure that we are going to meet again. I'll repay my debt to you in battle. I swear it by my sword. The road ahead's going to be long, but I'm here to help. <laughs> I am in your debt. It's a true man who honors his debts, and I'll see mine paid. I swear it by my ancient sword. And there is the joy gesture. Very nice. Okay. So we're very nearly ready to actually get this adventure started. 
but I have one more thing to do. As I said, I am not wearing a helmet of any sort. I would like to. It just so happens that if we travel back to the Lost Bastille and we talk to Strayed of Olaphus, he has a new hood for sale. And that's because we've killed the Forlorn. Now, we only killed the Forlorn once, but we almost got it down a second time, but we played a little foolishly in the Shaded Woods. Let's do that, and then we will come back to Majula and we will drop down that well and begin our descent into the gutter and Black Gulch and the Rat's King territory and all that wonderful stuff. Yes, I have very peculiar souls, but what I'm most interested in is this, the Hood of the Forlorn, born of Aldi's obsession with the first sin. The Forlorn lost both their corporeal form and a world to call their own. Now they drift into other worlds ever in search of a home. But without self, one is neither beginning nor end. And so the Forlorn have only to wander. Go, hopefully that'll look nicely. And I dare say that it works excellently with this set. All right. Now we have three spell slots to choose from. I cannot use any of my sorceries or miracles just yet. I could get pretty darn close. Actually, I could use things like force if I were to wear the ring, but today I'm just gonna focus on pyromancies, which have no stat requirements whatsoever. So fireball would certainly be good. I have two options, or I have two choices for those. I have fire orb. I think combustion is going to be big. And I think I want to play with Poison Mist. So you can see here that with the number of casts I have, we have 8 Fireball, 10 Combustion, and only 2 Poison Mist. These aren't going to be all I need, but I think it'll be pretty close to getting the job done in most situations. Then again, I say that, and honestly, I have no idea. So let's take a quick look at this. You can see here that if we go down to the scaling, the fire attribute bonus is scaled on both faith and intelligence. Okay, so faith and intelligence, and um, right now it's 187, which isn't terrible, but that isn't going to increase any unless we boost our actual faith and intelligence, which I guess in theory, ooh, you know what? Hold on, hold on. What if I were to get rid of this? We're, we're just gonna play around. It was 187, let's put on the ring increasing, what do they look like? <laughs> what are the, the ring of knowledge and, oh, they're these ones right here. So let's try faith first, okay? And that brings this up to, oh, interesting. It doesn't actually show the act. Oh, okay, I didn't realize that, sorry. Here I am not completing sentences. 187 is the base, 73 is the uh, with the scaling. So if I take off that, that is, I'm getting five points of scaling. And then do I get another point if I put on this? 182. No, that's nine points. So it seems that it scales better on intelligence. But I don't think that I necessarily want to do that. Although the Ring of Blades, if I'm focusing on fire, getting those extra points of damage might be beneficial. Ring of Blades has given me 15 to my physical attack. Yeah, you know what? I'll be using the crossbow, and I believe that counts for that also. Okay. Well, let's start going down here. Now, there are some items to get. I don't want to... Oh, wait. We still have 11,000 souls. Blue. Blue, 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 blue. Oh, and I still need to go back to Iron Man. Or... Yeah. No, not Iron Man. Scorpion Tark, because I need to talk to him, I believe, after you kill uh, Nashka in New Game Plus. So what do we want from you? Probably just a whole bunch of these. Maybe not 49, but maybe I'll take 22 to give me a nice even 25. That's not an even number, but you know what I mean. Uh, let's do... Let's do... 22. Come on now. I don't know why, but 45 seems good, and eh, we'll do some witching urns. There we go. Going nice and low. Now, I think combustion is probably going to be one of my better bets. 
Um, honestly, even this fall might be deadly. It is. It is deadly. <laughs> 45 deaths, according to the plaque. In case anyone's keeping count at home. I'm 20 minutes in and I'm already dying. But I bought the silver cap ring from Sweet Shalquar. So let's, uh, let's try that again, shall we? The damage is still very real. There's Lockstone, and I don't know where I want to go yet. That's where the second ladder takes us. Okay, I guess we'll go like this, right? Oh, that was close. Boys, Moss, okay. Uh, this does bring me to the door, so we'll do this. But I should have healed. Alright. 46 deaths. Let's keep ro rolling. I am 22 minutes into this video. We've gotten nothing actually accomplished. And I've died two times. I mean... Alright, now I don't actually think going down there will be beneficial to me because I don't have the key yet. Because the uh, the DLC door, or one of the DLC doors is that way. Oh, didn't have to jump. I always forget that. Alright, heal up. Grab our 98 souls, very important here. Really? Okay. So I suppose we'll just take the, the ladder. <laughs> that is why I spent all the... Uh. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Now, which one am I after? This one. Okay. Once again, sliding down a ladder like this makes absolutely no sense. But Dark Souls 2 says, let it be. And all of this to simply climb this additional ladder. <laughs> and to find out it's locked. Womp womp. <laughs> So, how do we want to proceed? Do I want to... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, I probably should go do the Royal Rat Authority first. Okay, that was good. Doesn't mean I'm going to do that. It just means that, you know, I ought to. And the Evil Eye plus one. Excellent. One more bone. Do we want to go up there? Or should we just, let's just keep, can I just run past a chest? No, okay. Uh, let's just carry on. Maybe we'll do this first and then we'll loop back around. So we have uh, Crystal Lizard. We got a chest, of course, we cannot get from here. Why didn't that hurt? Oh, what am I talking about? Of course I can get this chest. It's that other treasure, which is the disc chime shield I absolutely love because it also functions as a chime. Not very good, but it's fun. Knuckle ring. Where's the ash knuckle? That is in weapon degradation. Petrification resistance. Okay. So let's let's try some fireballs here. Okay. Try some fireballs. Huh? Hey. It got ya. I don't know if it's necessarily worth it. Oh my gosh. I might want that blue clear stone ring. Because this is pretty slow. There's only three. Okay, there's a Sian Knight guarding some more sublime bone dust. Well, tell you what, what if we try to poison him? Let's see how this works. Are you actually backing up towards the chest? Be poisoned. You're poisoned. That is a pretty nasty poison. That 
is, yeah, really good. Goodness gracious, okay. Now I'm a believer, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's at least get to the first bonfire. And then we can go back. We can actually burn the Sublime Bone Dust and then we'll go back up. I do want to do the Royal Cat, Royal Cat, the Royal Rat Kings area. Take care of old Stripey there, the big rat. Royal Rat Authority, not the not the Rat King. I gotta keep, or uh, gotta stop saying that. Start using the correct nomenclature. Or is it right? I don't know. I just work here. Okay, gonna go back to combustion. I do have some herbs too that I can use if I want to increase my number of casts. Okay, gets pretty nasty down here. It's pretty nasty in a hurry. There's just a lot going on. Oh, geez. Wait. There used to be a lot going on. Are you telling me? Did they really remove all of the nasty hollows down here? Really? Not gonna spite. Oh wait, or am I thinking of a different area? Because there used to be. No, I think that's a. It's upcoming. Or it's not. Okay, that's that's strange because there used to be. No, it's coming up. There was a jar. There, were, there was some sort of vase where you would, you would break, and inside there were 20 life gems. Is that still coming up? Well, I guess we'll find out. Oh, I already had a whip. Fantastic. See, the reason I brought this though, might be slow, but it works. Now these are not the, these are the poison spitting stat. Are they? Well, I'm not going to spend my time breaking all of them, mind you. But any that might actually prove to be difficult. Right, the gutter. Some people love it, some people hate it. I am definitely a fan of the gutter. I think just the dankness and the darkness and the lack of visibility. Now, okay, this this is this is not this is not a prime example. I don't understand what they were going for. To be White honest, like what? Why are there columns of junk? And is it the mod that's making them stick out like this, or is the vanilla this? I mean, it looks, it looks very janky. Okay, dropping down. Now, let's uh, let's get our pyromancer flame ready. Let's see what kind of damage I do. Uh, Eleven. Yeah, no, no. 400 damage with combustion, though. Yes, please. I, uh, I'm a fan of that. Okay, there is our bonfire. Whoa, whoa Nelly, all right. Easy there. Okay, I can just walk down here. There we go. So we'll be back. We're gonna put this on hold temporarily. We're gonna go back up to Majula and we're gonna go and we're gonna go to the rat area. Rat authority, rat king, one of the rats. <clears throat> that was a pleasant surprise seeing 400 damage from combustion. That is not too shabby indeed. All right, time to pop some light gems. Okay. Yeah, don't have to jump there, and I think you do take ever so slightly less damage if you do it like that. Okay, so now let's not roll off. Perfect. In we go. Get rid of the whip. Brave of Saints. This can get a little bit difficult. Really cool cave entrance there. I don't know that I've ever stopped to notice how awesome that looks. I mean, it's obviously a rat's face, but the stalactites 
very much look uh, like dagger-like teeth and fangs. By the way, the lactites stick tightly to the ceiling. Stalagmites might one day re reach the ceiling. That is how I've always remembered. That's my own mnemonic device. I've shared that a few times, but just in case you're ever, you know, desperately needing to know that. Okay, rat time. Let's do this. Uh, not one-shotting, as I thought I might. Oh, and the range is just, just awful. Wow. Okay, but I can one-shot with the hand axe, so looks like that's going to be a crowd favorite again. Well, okay. It might not be the crowd favorite. I just got prison tatters. Is that the one that increases item discovery? It is. Okay. Knew one of those sets did. Uh, we'll try some fireball. Okay, three small and smooth and silkies. Okay, those do one shot great. Remember, this is all at soul level one. I do have several Ferris Lockstones. How many, in fact, do I have? I have... Oh, I do have two Sublime Bone Dust that I also forgot to just burn. And I have five Ferris Lockstones. Uh, let's just use them all. Did, did that just extinguish the lights? I guess it did, didn't it? And, and I know what this is for. If you've never played Dark Souls 2 online, this area and there's one other area like it that you can activate different traps and whatnot with Ferris Lockstones. Um, and what happens is if you're playing online, a person can actually be pulled in... Oh, son of a biscuit. <laughs> a person can be pulled into your world to face your version of this area. Uh, and in doing so, if they die, you actually get a rat tail. It's part of a covenant, which is pretty fun. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have a few rats here. Back up, back up. And I think the Ferris Lockstone that is... Ooh, that did not kill you. Didn't get quite the solid hit, I guess. Okay, time to heal. But I believe these will be unpetrified if I use the Ferris Lockstone that is up here. Whisper of Despair and Torch. Whisper of Despair. I believe Whisper of Despair is the sorcery one cast. It prevents magic use around you. But, okay, it is a hex. That's what it is. Uh, re oh, no. Reducing the defense. Okay. Now, there wasn't a Ferris Lockstone that I could have used, so I'm not sure what um, what actually activates that. So, ugh. wish I hadn't done that. I believe that destroys your armor. So, you know, rolling through that is not the best of ideas. That's going to... Uh, Roy the Explorer. Here's the thing about Roy the Explorer. He can be very, very difficult. I'm going to try it. Oh, crud. I'm going to try to get him to walk in some poison. Oh, wow. Are you poisoned? You sure are. I didn't realize Poison Mist actually casts where you ain't. That's pretty cool. Anyway, Roy is a really, really useful NPC if you are so, if you're interested in the Company of Champions Covenant. So the Company of Champions Covenant, it, it's sort of like Dark Souls 2's hard mode, other than New Game Plus. When you're in the Company, company of Champions, regular enemies that would normally despawn after 12 kills will no longer completely despawn. As soon as you rest, they will come back. It's a good way of farming certain items. Well, when you're in the Company of Champions, 
everything is also a little bit more difficult and you can occasionally occasionally you can get items called Austones and Austones can be traded in uh, to increase your covenant level yeah, horn of bones, but we're also going to be no you guys aren't coming there we go as, as well and I don't remember what the rewards are but I believe that you need 50 to get the top reward which is the ring of ring of conquerors I think is what it's called in the comments, everything that I'm saying that's incorrect, just go ahead and correct it there. But I believe that is what it's called, and that is a really, really cool ring. And he was just using it, I believe. It increases dramatically the damage dealt, and this is just looking around to where we just were. It dramatically increases the damage done by your bare fist. Even at soul level one, you can do some respectable damage with your bare fist if you're wearing that ring. The reason I bring it up is Roy, and I do believe that all invaders like him drop an Austin. It is very easy, quote unquote, to use three bonfire ascetics. Is it three or is it four? Might be four. I'm trying to remember. I'm sorry, the details, I've done it before. I did it actually in my everything possible. The way it works is, you join the Company of Champions, you kill Roy, you get an Austone. You burn a bonfire Cedic at this bonfire and then run back and come back and he will respawn. And after the first bonfire Cedic, maybe he does 10 or 12 respawns and each time you'll get an Austone. Now he becomes very dangerous by your, you know, fourth bonfire Cedic and, and on, but it's probably the fastest way of farming Austones. You can get them from any enemy, rarely, but it's guaranteed from the likes of him. At least I think it's guaranteed. <laughs> I'm just so sure, aren't I? All right, we got the grave entrance here. I am going to... I actually think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change this. I'm gonna get rid of my one fire orb or my fireball and I'm gonna put on a second combustion. I'm swath. Nah, I, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna leave it at that. And then as soon as the big guy drops down, we are going to work on, uh, we'll just try to get a poison mist down on him. All right, here we go. Yeah, well, this goes. Okay. Just an absolute banger start, huh? <laughs> Okay, not bad. Okay, I am one-shotting them, as long as I'm close enough. Of course, it's slow, and uh, at some point, it's probably gonna come back to bite me. Oh boy, yep, uh, quite literally, actually, is what just happened. Oh my gosh, there's so many. And they're still coming, okay. I mean, the range is just so bad. Kind of hilariously so. In fact, you know, we're going kind of with this theme of fire. Doesn't mean I necessarily need to use combustion. Especially when that almost kills them. But not quite. Okay, run away, run away, run away, run away. All right, watch all the Stuart Littles. Not the movies, I mean, these guys. Good. Okay, run. That was pretty good. Also good. Oh, okay. Let's uh let's heal up. There we go. All right, he's here. I want to... Try and get poison on him. I mean, if a rat's immune to poison, I won't be surprised. But we'll try again. We'll see. 
Yeah, okay. I mean, it, again, it it makes sense, right? It makes sense that they're not going to take damage from that. Kind of filthy. Although rats, in reality, while they live in, in gross areas, they're not that gross. In fact, they're incredibly clean animals. Okay, let's see what kind of damage you do to him. Or, counter argument, let's not hit him at all. And let's take lots of damage ourselves. Ooh. Come on now. Where's he at? Oh, he's right here. Poisoned. Fantastic. Oh, Blue, you're just playing this so well. So expertly. Well, this poison lasts a lot longer, doesn't it? I should probably just switch to the axe, huh? Okay, fine. I mean, even this is going to be a challenge, just because there's so many of them now. Oh, you. Oh, my goodness. Good. That damage is, is pretty fantastic. But boy, would I love to not be poisoned again. Oh, oof. Whoa, that would have been death. That would have been death. That would have been death. Run, 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 run. Okay, just pop another one. Stay, stay topped up. I want to use combustion a little on him. You're not him? Where are you? They're still coming. Okay. Oh, there he is. He's right in the middle of a whole bunch of them. Okay. Kind of coming this way. Nah. Never mind. Funny games are over. Way in the back. Go, 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 go. There we go. And it's over. Victory achieved. It's not a very difficult fight. Unfortunately, I was just playing it poorly. Royal Rat, Van Royal Rat Vanguard, that's what it is. And then the other one is the Royal Rat Authority, which is going to be much, much more challenging. But hey, new covenant, because here's the Rat King. Leave this place, human. We have no time for thy kind. Humans bring nothing but filth. Is that a rat tail, human? Thou'st one of mine rat burrows conquered. This will not go unnoticed. Rejoice, for the right to serve me is now thine. Since thou'rt human still, permit me ask, wilt thou thy human soul surrender and pledge thyself to me? Swearest thou by the sweet-tempered sludge that laps at our bosoms? Sweet-tempered sludge that laps at our bosoms. That would make a terrible band name, but a really good song name for a really terrible band. Yeah, absolutely I'll join. Thou hast the eyes of one who perceiveth true beauty. Human, thou mayst serve. Take this ring. It was forged by a human who was once among us. The crest of the rat. Who? Who was that human? The ring draws to thee those who would defile our burrow. Wear the ring whenever thou art near, and destroy those who would dare provoke our ire. I will grant unto thee all thou should so desire. I prithee serve with a true rat's honor. And as a typical, this covenant is online. As I described, it involves being in this area and having enemies, or players rather, summon to your world rather than you invading, invading theirs. Speak thy mind, servant. Okay. Let's see what you have for sale. Corrosive urns, useless to me. Dung pies could be good. Common fruit, red leech trochies, and triclops snake trochies. Okay. Let's just offer our single rat tail. Okay. 
And that's it. My servant, tell me the way of things. There has been much honor in thy service, despite the human blood coursing thy veins. I am merciful and trust in thee as I would any rat. The insolent fools line up to trample upon our burrows. My servant, dispatch these invaders, and thy reward will be handsome indeed. I'd be lying if I say I remember what the rewards are, but feel free to, you know, let me and other people know down in the comments what you get for offering rat tails at what levels. Knowest thee of the lockstones, those odd contraptions fashioned by human hand long ago. Thou art human, and then able. I know thy kind, base plotters and schemers all. Put these contraptions to thy employ against thy foe. My servant, do not disappoint me. Alright, just like other covenants, you get a ring for joining, and that ring does bestow a small improvement to... Nothing? Really? Slightly increases miracle attack power. And then you get... Oh, I guess not all of them do. Never mind. Oh, boy. Go ahead and count how many things I've been wrong about just in this short episode. Do you suppose that this coffin right here is maybe the one who fashioned that ring? Also, I didn't even read the description, foolish me, other than to see it didn't have a benefit. Uh, no. No, no mention of the uh, the person who who fashioned it, the human. That is all right. Fire lock. So I still have the silver cat ring on. That would have been helpful to to put on or uh, to take off, mind you. No, now, will I make this jump first try? Absolutely not. Will I try multiple times? Yeah, probably. Get out of here. Get out. First try, discharge. I love this. It is a fashionable, fashionable shield, but it is not just a shield. It is also a sacred chime, which is just so cool. So if I were to get this out, I can block. And it functions like a shield. Not a very good shield, mind you, um, nor is it a very good catalyst, but it's just so cool. Use uh, You can cast both miracles and hexes, it's just, oh, I love the way it looks. Honestly, one of my favorite bits of gear in the entire game is that right there. All right, well, hey, um, do I want to go this way? Yeah, fine. I was saying we could just head back and then warp back to the bonfire that we've already opened up. I'll take some charcoal pine resin, though. It's a pretty good get. And since I now know that there are no enemies here because I'm yet again mixing it up. So we don't have a whole lot of time. We'll see how much of the gutter we can accomplish. It won't be won't be a terrible, terribly large amount. But you can probably guess what we're gonna be doing next. Whoa, that was a lot of damage. And I really didn't need to do that because we're going to our bonfire. Don't get poisoned, don't get poisoned, excuse me. Drop right on in. There we go. And welcome, as I said, to the gutter. So the gutter, this is actually where kind of my idea for lighting all the sconces really kind of took shape. Uh, can I make this? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. No, I deserve that. Anyway, as I was saying... <laughs> <laughs> I know I think there's a zip line over there anyway, but there are sconces throughout this area and Lighting them all actually does yield a reward. Well, it yields I believe it's another invader just like in the things betwixt but also it just looks Awesome, I mean just so cool. So I'll keep my torch out actually, you know if I'm using ooh combustion Mmm, I should... Oh, crud. 
I should really switch this back to Fireball. It's fine for these enemies. It is not going to be fine for the doggos. I'm just amazed at how short range this is. You know, when I was thinking about this build, and I use that term very loosely, I was also thinking, why isn't there, or is there, and I'm just forgetting, I don't think so, a magic version of combustion. And when I mean a magic version of combustion, I mean you, you know, spit out a magical kind of gust. But it's it's like combustion, it's um it's instead just a magic burst. I think that'd be very cool. Oh, you just dropped a torch! Alright, let's grab look at all these sconces. I don't remember the final tally here, but it's it's a, a lot. I mean there's five right here. Or six, six, and then two right across the uh, the way. Uh, okay. Once we get to the doggos, then we're gonna be we're gonna be in some trouble. Hey, okay. let's uh, let's get some exploring going. Uh, I don't need. Well, let's like this. I don't need the silver cat ring on anymore. Not right now. I may need it. A bit later, but let's put back on the... You know, let's do the Ring of the Evil Eye, actually. Instead of... Ah, uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to open this. Yeah, it's locked. I know. Okay. So that's another DLC entrance, I do believe. Don't roll down. We'll go there when we're good and ready. What do you want to do? I mean, I could shoot you. Oh, there's the doggo. Let's get the whip out. Here are those statues. What am I looking at down here? What kind of trap? Nothing? Okay. Alright, now these hearts, be careful with these. Break them from a distance. I'm gonna get poisoned. Dog in here, though. Will you get poisoned? Can you be poisoned? These things have just about no wind up whatsoever. You're not gonna get poisoned, are you? Okay. So now. We've got a bit of a problem. Because there's no way I'm going to be hitting this thing with combustion and, and surviving to tell the tale. But I, I'm going to try. These things are so, so dangerous. I mean, because see that? That hitbox? It's crazy. Oh. Okay. Um, That was not that bad. Okay. Wow. Oh, wait. Hold on. No. Dude. There was HP. There was HP. I just died and had HP left. I will I will go back and capture that footage. There's there's HP left. I don't know what the number is. Hmm, game. All right. Well, let's go. Let's change one of these back to do I want to do fire orb? Only four uses though. Let's do it. We can use some. We can use some spices. What do we have? We got, oh, we got twilight herbs. We got amber herbs. A few of those. Let's see what kind of damage we can get. But also, let's get our torch back out, which means you don't have to sit blue. Okay, combustion for the little guys. You that what? Hmm, I don't know why that guy survived with just a, a sliver. Grab, 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 grab. Yes, got the torch. Good. We're not gonna go the same route. I didn't actually want to go that way anyway. 
Not yet, not right now. So we can also just break these with our torch. Really, we can break them with anything. Come to me. Go. Ooh, only three casts left. That goes very quick. And can I hit? Really? There we go. Thought I could hit it from there. I. I never noticed. I don't think that's unintentional. That that looks like a hand. Creepy and horrifying is what it is. Come on. Don't even pretend. Okay, fine, fine. You're dead, I believe you. Totally, totally believe you. Okay, what is the play here? Do I jump for that? Is that a thing? Yeah, let's just hop down for now. Oh shoot, oh shoot. I forgot about you. I forgot about the tar monsters. They look cool. Well, my health's getting pretty low. I am going to use one of 33 human effigies. You know what we should do? Here's what we should do. Uh, I didn't actually mean to light that, but that works. I'm going to actually... Put on another combustion? Fireball? Maybe fireball. Yeah, that's what we'll do. This is what we'll do. Okay. Just go nice and quick like. Actually, you know what I want to do is see what kind of damage do I do just by smacking with a torch? Awful. Terrible. But, two for right there. Bait and attack. Thank you. Good. That's going a little smoother. No. That was fortunate. Now, what I should be able to do, if my free aim is true, it's never true. I should be able to maybe. And if this doesn't work, I'll use a uh, firebomb. Where did, where did that actually go, though? Oh, wow, right, because that's not how that works. There we go. Enjoy that. Not quite dead. I can get this one on fire, though. Nah, I don't think so. Oh, 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 okay. Now travel this way, walk into it, because you're a big, big dum-dum. There we go, wonderful. And is that the only one? That's the only one. Nice twofer, I'll take it. Yeah, now you're all coming back. I mean, just how cool do those tar pits look all lit up? It's awesome. Seriously, learn to love the gutter if you don't yet. It's such a cool area. I think this is far more interesting than Black Gulch ever is, ever was, or ever will be. Go down there. I don't want to go down there yet. Instead, let's go this way. I know what you're going to do. I'm, I'm not even mad about it. Um, let's see how many I can hit with a single firebomb. I'll take it. I'll just walk past the other one. Hey, nice little roundabout. And tell you what, I won't wrap up just yet. We're not going to be able to finish the gutter. But we can certainly get a little bit... Oh, there's a lot of goodies there. I need that a jump. I think I can make that jump. Yeah. 
Oh gosh. And there's lots of stuff here too. Of course I have these hearts to now contend with. How much longer do I have my torch? Almost two hours with the torch still. Okay, I don't know why I'm doing it. Like going out of my way to break these. That should be sufficient. Okay, what do we got? Smooth and silky. Twinkling. Smooth and silky. Oh yeah. Ooh, fragrant branch. Another shiny in this pot. I want to say there's a doggo down there. This jump back is dangerous because I'm going to roll, but if I... Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay. <laughs> that was a very, very silly idea. I'm going to go back this way. Not really for any good reason. I make that. Heck yeah, I can. Come on, do your little thing. That's a whip, Blue. You know what, though? Kept him off of me. Whoa! There's the old Dark Souls 1 Hollow Frenzy. Good. I only have one combustion left. Enjoy that. Uh oh. Duh! I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive. Ah! You're super fast! Stop it! Okay. Oh! Bad roll on my part. Mm. Okay, we made some progress. Now, it's not much progress, mind you, but I'm gonna call it a part there. We will pick up exactly where we left off next time, AKA tomorrow, if you're watching these as they go out, AKA um, in the next episode, if you're watching this in the future. We had a whole lot more gutter to do, believe it or not, it's a very tightly packed area, and uh, but just look how cool this looks already. You can just start to see all the lights that are lit because of you and you can really trace just how expansive this area is. I love it, and I hope you do too. That's gonna do it for this episode of Blue Plays Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin, Soul of One. Did I say that at the beginning? Who knows, but here you are anyway. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.